Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a way of making a text version of your audio narration visible in Storyline 360. And this also works in Storyline 2 as well. Now, the reason that you'd want to do this is one, for accessibility, so people that might not be able to hear, uh, they can still see what the words are that are being spoken in the, in the narration. But also remember that accessibility is a bit more than that as well, that it could also be for someone who doesn't have speakers on their device or they are in an open area and can't have the sound on. So it will help them as well to, to see what's being spoken. And given that it's good practice to not necessarily read the words on screen, what's on screen might be different to what's actually being spoken. So it, it can be handy to have uh, this the, the text version of that available. So I've got a couple of slides here in... We're going to do this by, via the player. We're going to make the, the, the audio script available in the player. So what you need to do and what I've done here is to use the notes panel and to put your narration script in the notes panel for your different slides and do that all through the course. And if some course slides don't have narration, obviously then that notes panel is just blank. And there's a reason why the... the um, script is in for the slide is in the notes panel and that's because if we come up to the player settings and we open up the player properties what we can do to start with is if in the features area if we look at the player tabs if we turn on by ticking this tick box next to notes that will turn on the notes tab in the player and then what happens is anything for that particular slide that you're on that's displayed that's in the notes panel will be displayed here. So if I say OK, I can show you what that looks like. So if we just do a quick preview, you'll see that when you look at the notes tab, that's the audio for this particular slide. And that will change on every slide because every notes panel is potentially different. So that's a nice easy way of doing it. Now it's in there. Now a couple of things. One is that the fact that it's called notes might be a bit misleading to people. They may think that's where you can leave some notes or they can take notes. So it's a, probably a good idea to, re to rename the notes tab to maybe audio or transcript or something like that. And also, if you're not, if you don't want the notes tab information to be displayed sort of sitting behind the menu like that. We can also move that tab to, to maybe somewhere across the top of the player if, if that suits you. So let's have a look at how to do that. So we'll have to go back into the player settings and to rename the notes tab what we need to do is we need to come to this area here called text labels and this is all of the the buttons and messages that are, are in storyline, uh, what they're officially called and then the text that's displayed and they're all in alphabetical order so what I need to do is need to come down to the end section and I'm looking for this one here notes tab is the button or message and the text that's being displayed is notes that's why we see notes but if you click here in the custom text column I can call that something else so I might call it audio script you can call it whatever you like and if I say update preview, then that will change the name of the tab to audio script. Now I'll preview it again in a little minute, but uh, that's changed to audio script. So now it's a little bit more meaningful for people. Now, if you would rather this uh, tab to be displayed across the top of the player, we need to come back to features. And you can see that we've still got the notes tab turned on. But if I select the tab itself, then I can use these arrow keys. I'm at the very bottom, so the down one doesn't work. But I can arrow up the notes tab and I can keep going up and I could put it over here on the right. So it's in the top bar on the right or on the other side of resources or have it on the left if I wanted to. So you've got some options on the placement of the audio script area or the, that notes tab. So if I say OK... Uh, then if I now preview out the scene so we can see both of the slides, you'll see that I have my first slide here and I've got my audio script there that would be as the audio speaking. 
and if I hit the next button, it's still the same tab, but the different text because different text in the in the notes tab. I guess the trade-off having it across the top bar like that is that when somebody clicks on it to open it, it does cover up part of the the screen. So potentially having it off to the side uh, in the the sidebar could be a better option because then nothing on the screen is going to be covered. And one final thing before I finish is that you may have slides where there is no audio. So rather than have the audio tab there and being blank, what you can do is if you come to the, the slide properties for the slide where there's no audio and look at player to features, instead of doing the player defaults, you can do a custom player setting for that particular slide. And we've got all of these uh, player options turned on for, for the slides. Now doing it in the player settings is global across your whole course but for some of those things you can turn them off at the slide level and the notes tab is one of those things. So I could uncheck the notes tab and then for this just for this particular slide there would be no audio transcript tab available. It would turn off temporarily and turn on on the next slide where it was still selected. And one other thing is also where you have the notes when you have uh, some audio playing it can be a good idea to turn on the seek bar just to give people that visual indication of how long you know the audio is going to take plus it does give them the option to play and pause and replay the audio for that slide should they choose well that's it for this tutorial that's making an audio transcript available via the player in Storyline 360